So the first, so we'll get, let's look over here. So this gap here tapers from here to there, from a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. However, it's a pretty substantial change right here. So I'm going to try to make a wedge, kind of make a wedge out of this wood using our planer and we'll plane it down and then to three eighths of an inch all the way. And then we'll only plane half of it over and over again so that it's uh, uh, kind of makes a transition here. I don't know how else to do it. I don't have a bandsaw big enough to rip this whole thing. And that on our bandsaw would take about 10 years. about this little diesel heater just cranking out some heat right now. Well, I just, you know, I was like, hey, I should turn that thing on, warm it up, and make sure it still works. Yeah, it's awesome. So, 1 16th, 1 8th. Let's see how it looks, see if it works. This is all bumpy, but I'll put that against the wall. So oh, this side will be smooth. I see. All right. It's warmed up in here quick. Very. Wow. So we're no good here. Oh, where that thing sticks out, your shelf sticks out more. Yep. Back to the drawing board, or the planer in this case. Yeah. I've never done anything like this, so it's pretty creative. You're so close. So close. So tight right there, man. Off. Get the power button, hold it's down for a second or two. It's too hot in here. It's so tight. Where's it rubbing? That little row I'm not concerned about. size bit. Probably that one. But that's better. Like that. Boom. It's perfect.
it's not anything but this plate right here that's causing the problem. Oh my god, this is killing me. Oops. You have to take the whole gosh darn thing apart to ride it more. Yeah, I just need to open that up a skosh. So that sits flush in there. Gotcha. pretty good. That is pretty good. I've never had to do what I just did before. With the doorknob or the door jam? The whole thing, like making it all line up like this and shimming it out. Like this is just not normal door oh, mechanics. Oh, right, right. Okay. I love it. Now let's take our fancy nail gun and fancy nail it. Okay, that's that. Okay. Now what? I think we need to do the arch next. Up here, or is there going to be stuff in here too? Uh, eventually there will be a very thin strip of wood that it'll come from the bottom and go all the way up and over covering the entire seam of the door. Okay. So, but we're going to have to figure out how to bend it. We might have to do some wood bending with some, uh, with a steam mm -hmm. tube, yeah. But we need to make an arch that goes from here up skinnies comes out of here again then there's trim that will come down and meet this and then also continue down there covering up this So far so good. How do you make them all stick together? You just nail them up like that? Uh oh. Oh, 28. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I did that right. And I came up with that math all by myself. Good work, honey. <laughs> I broke the circumference down. I cut it in half because I knew the circumference had to be half. And it almost broke your brain, huh? Yeah. Math hurts. So, and then I took the and I divided it by six. I had to cut seven, so I made a mistake somewhere, but it worked out anyway. So 28 <laughs> is right there. So 14 is the center. The next thing you gotta do is you gotta biscuit every one of these bad girls. Every one. So How do you clamp them all at once? I can't. I made this mark even with this mark so these will be exactly the same uh. I'm shooting in the exact same spot on each one So easy. And because we used a good saw blade, they will uh, join together like so seamlessly perfect. It'll be super nice. 
but it looks like they'll clamp good. Let's glue. biscuit itself is almost inconsequential. It just keeps it there. trying to make this 15 here the same distance from the inside edge here. So 14 and 8, 14 and 8. Okay, so now that is our cut lines. Pretty cool, huh? Very. That cool. worked out really good. I am very happy. Very with that. precision. Yeah. Oh, how easy it's to forget. Still thinking about how we met. Yeah, I'm with you now. Oh, one thing that it's plain to see. Best thing in this life for free, and that's so true now. And there I was with my world falling apart, hoping just to get by. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Well, this is tough. I wish you'd try this side. First? Yeah. One inch. That. Now we cut. Pretty cool. What am I trying to do here? Like, I gotta take off. I have to go like flat here. <laughs> this is, is a that? strange idea, but it'll work. There it is. 
That was cool. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's go see if it works. That's better. Oh, that's nice. It looks yeah. nicer. We have to cut it right here. Oh, that's where it's getting cut? Yeah. I feel like you need to take a, w a slight wedge out of here instead of straight all the way down. I know what you're saying. There's extra on this edge and not enough on that edge. Obviously, it needs to slide over to the right. Ooh, that got it closer up to the ceiling. That's where it's going to be right there. That looks pretty good. <laughs> the door. Special walnut. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. I love how it just brings the grain out. You see patterns that you didn't even know were there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Looks so cool. What do you think? Nice. It's pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, you want to hold this for a second? Sure. Just like that. Mm, I like the smell of wood stain when it's on wood. I do too. It looks a lot better now that it's dark. Oh, I like it. We'll have to stain the inside of that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I need to do the trim piece down there, which is easy because I made this. How big? Two and a half inches. Beautiful. Oh, it looks a lot lighter, doesn't it? I need to go way darker on this. Yeah. Is it now? Photo op! Right? I'm gonna get my camera because I'm not the good photo op. <laughs> I need to just cut that real fast. I did that, stuck this on here, pressed down and it on it. It gave you the stain line? Uh -huh. That's hilarious. very subtle. I know this stain is so light it just looks like you're getting the wood wet but yeah. I noticed that it did seem to darken up a little bit with time. Not really darken but it got I don't know it grows richer with time. Yeah. So perfect, you don't even notice it. Go. Now let's do the other side. I just did 
disappears. Yeah, Looks so good. good huh? Huh. Yes, nice work, honey. doesn't get any better than that. Yep. Now our door trim is complete. It looks adorable. <laughs> <laughs> well almost but we still have the stopper to go in over from all the way over the top that makes the seam covers the seam of the door. All yes. The way yeah. So but that's, we just have to bend. That's actually going to be a task, but we'll be able to do it. Yeah. We'll hit that next time. A little unfinished bussiness for next time. That's right. Damn, that looks good though. It really does. Super happy with that. Without knowing it, I played it by heart. And now I sing.